Our dreams end, the winner over course and distance earlier in the season on Channel 4, 14 to 1. Zabardi at 4 to 1, Adrian Maguire. Then Ambleside at 20 to 1, Norman Williamson rides. Florid, Graham Bradley's mount at 8 to 1. Also 8 to 1 is Ground Nut, the mount of Brendan Powell. Number 6 then is Potentate, Tony McCoy rides at 5 to 1. Romancer Blinkert is the 3 to 1 favourite in an open looking contest. Carl Llewellyn in the saddle. And the bottom one is the Mayor Blast Freeze at 4 to 1, John Cavanagh. Confirmation that just little is an unfortunate. Non -run. And uh, not the best of starts. Florid has dug his toes in at the start. And uh, just looking down the track, uh, yes, he's uh, refused point blank to go, Florid. But, uh, I don't know if he had these tendencies before, Florid, but uh, perhaps that first run over hurdles at Sandown just put him off. But uh, over the first flight, it's ground nut on the outside of Potentate. Lost in the back straight, quite a long run before they get to it. And Potentate and Tony McCoy on the outside of Brendan Powell and ground nut. Potentate holding this fractional advantage for the Martin Pipe State. This is three out, but a long way from home. You see the pack are closing. The early pace is beginning to slow now as Florid trots past the grandstands. And uh, up front, uh, moving up on the two leaders now, Dreams End and Romancer getting very much closer as Potentate tries to cut clear, but I'm unable to do so at the moment. Ground nut second on the inside of Dreams End in the red jacket. Romancer is next. And then Zabardi getting closer with a white face from Blast Freeze and Ambleside. The whips are already up and they've still got a good half mile left to travel. And Potentate trying hard to hold all comers. Dreams End is coming there. Then Romancer towards the outside, three deep. Zabardi is beginning to look very dangerous indeed under Adrian Maguire in fourth place. Under a patient ride Zabardi is beginning to pick them off. Romancer started the favourite and is under the whip in fourth place. 11 to 4 Romancer Zabardi and Blast Freeze 4 to 1. I'll have the 4 to 1 Zabardi as they head down towards two out then. They're spreading across the track. Potentate left but now headed by Dreams End. Dreams End took off and landed in front from Zabardi second. Romancer right of picture is all over the shop. They're clear then a Potentate from Blast Freeze. Ambleside running on a bit and then ground nut the final flight coming up then. Dreams End and Zabardi. It's Dreams End who's nicely clear over the last from Romancer who landed just second. Zabardi is getting very tired indeed. Potentate down on his nose at the last. And Dreams End, a course and distance winner here earlier in the season, is just about out in front. But Romancer is putting in a good run underneath the stands rail. But Dreams End is nicely clear and will follow up that earlier course winning good style in runaway fashion in the end. Dreams End from Romancer second. Very tight for third block. Last freeze may just have run on to snatch third from Ambleside, though it's very close between those two. But uh, no doubt about the winner in the end, Dreams End at 16 to 1. My word, uh, there aren't many Richard Dunwoody ridden winners at 16 to 1. If you're a follower of the former champion jockey, you'll be counting the money after this. The SP, first number one, Dreams End, 16 to 1. Second, number seven, Romancer, the 11 to 4 favourite. And third, number eight, Blast Freeze, 4 to 1. Non runner, number nine, Eight Ran.